Ken Surfs here, and we are back in the shade room. It's nice to be back here surrounded by all the memorabilia, I tell you. It's nice to get away for a vacation every once in a while, but it's always nice to come home, I tell you. So, when I got back uh, yesterday, I had a package, uh, a mail call, from Mama Bear's Soaps in Florence, Wisconsin. The package just arrived. And oh man, some cool items. First of all, I really, really, look at this. Solid wood. Got to open this up nice and gentle because I drop things too eagerly uh, to hold the soap. Just really, really classic, classy soap holder. Set that aside. And, uh, Couple of uh, soaps. They're glycerin soaps. I got the Mama Bear's uh, Bear Ice, which is a eucalyptus, a eucalyptus and a menthol soap. But I'm really happy with this. Dracker. Woo! You know I love Draconor. Come on. I've got it here. I've got the aftershave ready to go with it. So uh, I'm ready to do a, a, a shave with this Dracker type soap today. And if you go to their website, and uh, actually I'll put the website right here, and then I'll put the link to the website directly into the uh, description of this video. They have some awesome scented soaps uh, of the classic colognes. I saw Dolce & Gabbana, I saw English Leather, I saw Brute, Old Spice, Dracker Noir. They've got a page full of these. So if you, uh, you owe it to yourself to take a look at this site. Just some fantastic soaps. So as we're sitting here, I'm gonna get this blooming. And I'm gonna be using uh, my, whoop, my Cremo horsehair brush today. So I'm gonna soak this right now. Get it soaking in the crystal skull. Man, I've got the, uh, there's that air freshener that you hear blowing every once in a while. It's got the cinnamon and the pumpkin. It's getting all ready for uh, Halloween. My wife gets me these scents, and I've got one of them in my uh, man cave, and i got one of them here, so at night I'll be listening and shh, shh, just keeps this place smelling good. So, glycerin-type soap, Dracker Nor. I'm going to open this up a tad. I'm going to use the blade that I was going to use. I was going to use a feather today, but I'm going to use a blade I'm more familiar with, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette. There we go. Oh, very nice. A nice, clear glycerin soap. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put a little bit of water on it, get it to start blooming a bit while I'm getting the shave set up. I'm gonna be using the, uh, you've seen me use this one. Whoops. Not enough room. The bevel razor. So I'm gonna be using the bevel razor again. Right here. With the Gillette Wilkinson sword blade in it. Oh, all right. I've got my uh, bowl full of water here in the sink. Just got done with work. Monday is over and uh, we're getting some winds outside like uh, you would not believe. The Santa Ana winds are here. All right, let's see how this goes here. Glycerin soaps are a little bit different than uh, regular soaps uh, to lather and uh, you don't, they don't recommend too much water with it. But she's starting. Work it for about 45 seconds to uh, a minute or so. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to use some of this extra soap here. It's kind of a pre-soap, a pre-shave, because I've got the whiskers sticking up. They're awful dry. So this is just actually, I'm using this just as a pre-shave. A little unorthodox, but there we go. Keep lathering. I, you know, you see me, I use a lot of pre-shaves. I have the Parasso, I have the Prep. I have a lot of oils and soaps. Oh, 
she's lathering nice now. She's spilling out, see? Spilling out. Nice and thick. I just finished a 44 ounce Diet Coke. So I am there. Oh, look at that. Smells great. Goes on great. Perfect. Now, I had not heard of uh, Mama Bear's soaps. And uh, actually, two or three of you asked if I could do a review on some of them. And uh, she is so nice. I uh, contacted her. And uh, it, she goes, are you the YouTube guy? And I go, yeah. Oh so uh, just awesome customer service. Very lovely lady. Uh, has a brick and mortar store, I believe, in Florence, Wisconsin. So you can actually go in. Oh, look at this. Super, super smooth. Nice. You can actually go into the store, which is uh, a rarity around here. It's a couple of brick and mortar stores, but oh, if you're in Florence or you're in Wisconsin, check it out. I, 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 if I'm in there, I'm going to go check it out. So, you know. All right, the bevel razor. Soap is very slick. I'm cutting right through that. A couple of days growth. Mustache is coming in, right? I'm in a dilemma too about this mustache. And I have to ask your opinion and your advice. Uh, it's, you know, I'm going as a Magnum PI, the old Magnum PI. Tom Selleck for Halloween. I've got the Hawaiian shirt. I always wear the Detroit cap anyway. So it's not a very big stretch for me for Halloween. And the mustache is coming in. And I was going to shave it off. But Movember is coming up. And uh, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, a lot of the, the shaving, the shavers, the YouTube people. Uh, and even if you're not a YouTube person, they're recommending that men grow out their beard or their mustaches in the month of November to bring awareness to uh, cancer screening for men. And I will be doing that. So I don't want to shave off the mustache and then grow it out again. I might just grow the goatee, uh, which will be a little easier since the mustache portion will already be there. You hear that feedback? Very nice. So anyway, I wonder what your thoughts on that are. Well, I'm definitely gonna participate in Movember. So I don't wanna grow a whole beard because I, I love shaving. It's my hobby. It's my passion. A little bit addicted to it. Oh, man. Very, very nice. Mm. Drac or nor. Well, I got back from Vegas, and uh, I think I showed you a clip uh, in my shaving video of the Lionel Richie concert. Now, I didn't include any music in that shaving video, but. I did film some of the uh, concert, and I, I knew what was going to happen. I actually just did a video for, you know, some people, they want to come to Vegas, and they want to see what these concerts are like. So before you go, hey, man, I shot a couple of videos of it. I've got one of Elton John, and I put that video up, and within 30 seconds, I got the copyright violation notice that's saying I no longer own this video. You know, they give you a choice. They say you can remove... <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna save this one more time. That's the last time this is gonna happen. My new mount arrives today. My new camera mount arrives today. So no more falling. This one's going in the trash. It's been good for two years. And I took it on the trip with me and it, lo and behold, it didn't fall at all. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I put that Lionel Richie video, and I know it's his songs. They own it. They're going to put advertising on it, and he's going to get the royalties, and that's fine. 
good for you, man. Good for you. I just wanted to show you a video of what it looks like if you're ever in Vegas and you want to go see one of those shows. And I look forward. And I am going to try to shoot as much footage as I can when uh, Aerosmith comes to Vegas. I've never seen Aerosmith in concert. I really want to see them. So anyway, I was at the Lionel Richie concert and it's in the middle of, it's called the Miracle Mile. If you've ever been there, it's an indoor mall. Looks kind of cool. The uh, concert got out after 10, maybe 11 in the evening. I'm hungry as hell. And there's this restaurant, La Salsa, with this giant, looked like about a 50-foot stripper pole. Check this out. Only in Las Vegas, right? Guys reposing under that thing. I didn't want to go under there. Guys reposing and they're looking up and pointing up the skirt. Just some crazy stuff. I've never been in that mall before. I've never uh, seen the, the giant stripper pole. But uh, the stuff you see in Las Vegas. Now Elton John and Celine Dion and them, they, they play in... Uh, uh, Caesars, so it's actually in the casino, but this is actually in the mall, the Planet Hollywood Mall. This is where uh, I think Britney Spears plays too. But a nice mall. 2,000 people got out of there at the same time, so I went and had dinner, late dinner. Then I was able to get an Uber back to my hotel. I don't recommend you drive in Las Vegas. Do not recommend you drive in Las Vegas. I'm gonna go this way. Now, Mama Bear was funny in her uh, emails to me. You know, I said I was going to be doing this review on YouTube, and she goes, nobody buys anything off YouTube. So if you do see this, and you like it, and you buy something from her, maybe in the note you can say, hey, I saw it on YouTube. Because I really, I really think her products, they, they smell great. I've heard great things. And it performs great. No complaints here. And the glycerin soaps are it's supposed to be nice for your skin, won't dry your skin. And <laughs> my skin is absolutely dry right now because of these winds. Let me give you another Vegas tip. I have allergies, uh, developed them late in, in, in my life here. But when I go to Vegas, you walk into those casinos and there's so much smoke, you can smell the smoke. And I'm not complaining about your smokers. Smoke, man, I have a cigar now and then, I, I understand. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. But if, you, if you've got allergies or you're a little bit sensitive, man, you're gonna be coming out of there with allergies and sneezing. Benadryl, man. I went to the pharmacy, they say pop a Benadryl before you go. Ah, came back here perfect to the Santa Ana winds. <laughs> so if I can survive Las Vegas and the Santa Ana winds, uh, Benadryl was the savior. All right, Dracker Nor. Ooh. Love this. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. a little too much on there. We'll chase it with some the real deal here. Ooh, there's the burn. All right. Mama Bear's soaps. Excellent. And I'm telling you, they have so many great scents. If you're into the classic colognes, you're going to love it. And they've got, you know, they've got different scents too. But uh, I do urge you, check out the website. 
And uh, you might already use these. You, you, you guys told me about it. And I uh, definitely do not think you will be disappointed. Excellent performer. Not one nick. Not one. I don't know if that would have been the same if I had to use that feather blade, but uh, we'll have to give it a shot. When I do the next soap, maybe I'll try the feather. Hey, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for your subscriptions. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you all again in another uh, shave video very, very soon. Until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night.